What you guys got another video here for you on how to choose what Windows 10 feature updates version you want to use and stay with and you can use this version for a considerable amount of time Microsoft have released some information they kept it a bit quiet but they have released some information on how to change that in the registry and that's what we're going to be talking about today now you know Microsoft have already made some changes to the update area inside the advanced options and have removed a certain feature called choose uh, when updates are installed this will allow you to choose when you wanted your feature updates to be installed and you could uh, you know basically defer that up to 365 days and the same thing with the security updates up to 35 days you could change that but they've removed this and basically made you do this inside the group policy editor but there is another area which they've added in which they've changed which is a registry setting which allows you to configure inside Windows 10 versions 1803 1809 1903 1909 and 2004 I'll leave a link in the video description for this document it's about updates and you know I always leave this sort of stuff in the video description so you guys can read up on it and basically so you can see here it's from Microsoft itself it's called target released version and basically you will be able to add in a piece of code which will change this target to release version to whatever you want and you can see here value type is a string containing Windows 10 version number for example 1809 or 1903 I'll show you how that works once we get into the registry and do it you can see uh, what uh, basically what uh, versions it works with unfortunately you can see here it's not supported for Windows 10 home and they seem to get the uh, bad end of the stick all the time so personally if I if you've got a Windows 10 home I would start considering updating to Windows 10 Pro and you can pick these licenses up pretty cheap it's always worth doing it because it gives you so much more control over your updates and stuff like that so let's go ahead and open up the registry and we'll show you how to edit this registry to get this feature added in so we're going to go to reg edit and uh, you can open the registry editor okay so we've got our registry editor open and what you're going to need to do is navigate to this location H key current machine and then we're going to go to software then down to policies come all the way down open this up and then we're going to go Microsoft and then Windows and then we want to go to Windows update okay so right click on the Windows update here and go new D word 32 bit value even if you're running a 64 bit operating system you still need to do D word 32 bit value so click on this one here and now we need to type in here target released version it's just like this now we need to double click on it and give it a value of 1 okay so next we need to right click on the Windows update folder again and go new string value and this will give us a new string value inside here we need to type in target released version info just like so we can double click and put in our value data here so if you're running version 2004 you would put that in if you are running version 1909 you would put that in and if you want to stay on that version that's what you put inside that box whether it be 1903 or other versions whatever you're using again if you don't know what version just type winver and it will give you your version so this is the version 2004 for this machine and if I wanted to stay on there I could put in there 2004 and stay with that version 
So what is this information going to do for you? Well, basically what this trick does is it works until the selected version of Windows 10 remains supported by Microsoft themselves. This is going to be great for IT professionals and businesses that want to stay on a particular version and they don't want to roll out updates all the time. And if that is the case, you can choose the version which you're happy with and stay on that version. And that's what it's designed to do. So basically the target released version info entry in the registry will also allow users to disable feature updates and downloads for up to 365 days as well. So you could use it for that as well. But basically you are staying on this version and it won't change until you come in here and remove these or it becomes unsupported by Microsoft. Once that uh, becomes unsupported, I think it will force an update. I think that's how it works. So as you can see here, back on here, it says available in Windows 10 version 1803 and later enables IT administrators to specify which version they would like their devices uh, to move to and stay on basically until they reach the end of service or reconfigure the policy. So that's what it says there. So you can leave it in there indefinitely until you want to roll out a change and that is set in stone and this is on Microsoft's website so this comes straight from Microsoft themselves. So once you're happy with your uh, setting you can close off your your registry editor and uh, basically restart your PC and you should be good to go. Anyway I think that's going to be about it so that's basically how you can stay with a certain version of Windows 10 and uh, stop any sort of feature updates coming down it's a much easier way to do it and once that's set in your registry you should be good to go and if you're a business owner that's going to be really ideal for you because it means you don't have to keep updating you will still receive your security updates you just won't receive any feature updates which are the ones that have massive big rollouts and they normally come with bundles of problems and companies don't really want that sort of headache so they stay with a version until they need to update to the next version until it's fully tested on their uh, network anyway that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.